In this video, you will learn how to apply response surface methodology through Design Expert software. In this video, I am using Design Expert version 12. When you open uh, the software, you will see three options which are Design Wizard, New Design, Open Design. You can use uh, this option for opening of the design which are already saved in your computer. And for new design, you can use this option. There is an alternate option. Uh, you can go to this file menu and you will find the new design, open design and these three options. So I am uh, using new design. So I will select this option. Now this window will be appeared. Now select response surface from here. In response surface methodology, you will select central composite design. It is already selected. So we will uh, start this. Uh, central composite design from here for response surface methodology you have needed three type of information first one is the numeric factor independent variab variables and their ranges their low and high value and third one is the response so for uh, this exercise I will use the data from this article the title of the article is given here I will also I, I will also uh, write this uh, title in description you can download this article from google scholar the title of the this article is optimization of mixed surfactant based beta carotene nanoemulsion using response surface methodology in this article you can see here that there are three independent variables and their ranges is given here i will enter this information in software Firstly, you will find the option of numeric factor and categoric factor. You can see here that in this article, there are three numeric factors. So I will use this up arrow and change it to three. And here I will already selected the horizontal option. If I select vertical, that this data will be arranged in vertical direction. And I enter factor range in term of plus minus levels. You can also uh, use enter factor range in term of alpha if you want to change the value as alpha. So first factor is surfactant concentration its unit is percentage and uh, I will uh, write this minus 1 and plus 1 value minus 1 denote minimum and plus 1 maximum 4 to 8 I will write 4 and 8. This software automatically calculates this minus alpha and plus alpha value. Now you can see that the minus alpha value is 2.64 and plus is 9.36. And if you observe in our, our software, this value is 2.636, which are 2.64. <coughs> And here 9.36 I will enter second independent variable which is homogenization time the unit is minute lower value is 4 high is 7 Third independent variable is oil content. Unit is percentage. And lower and many values. Minimum value is 6.5 to 9.5. Now in this type you will select uh, full if you select small you, you will uh, observe this warning sign that small ccd design are minimal point designs they are very sensitive to outlier so we we will always use full design and if you have lack of resources or it is mandatory for you then you will use half design but it is not recommended to use half design in block design you will you can select uh, one two or three and if you are carried out this experiment during different time intervals you can select block 2 
you will see here that the, these 20 runs are divided uh, in two interval time intervals are in, in two spaces and first one is 8 4 and 6 2 I will uh, select block 1 in this experiment and if you go to this option you will find different options for example here you will find replicates of factorial points in this experiment there are 8 different factorial points and 6 axial points and 6 center points if you want to replicate of factorial points and you can see I will change it to 2 and 20, instead of 20 runs now runs are 28 I will change back it to 1. Similarly, if you uh, want to add the replicates of axial point, you will see here that our 6 run will be increased and total runs will be 26. And here center points in which all independent variables have value of 0. These values are called central points at 0 point. You can see in here that uh, center point value will be 6, 5.5 .5 and 8. You can change this value, but it is recommended that you can you will use six center points. Minimum requirement is three, and you can change it according to your requirement. You can see if I will change it to five, the total run will be nineteen, and if you change it back to six, then total run will be twenty. And here the option is in alpha option rotatable option is selected and we will select this option so i will not change this option and click on ok now i have explained all this and you are you after enter this data you will go to uh, this next option which is located in corner here uh, another window appeared and it will uh, uh, display this response as i have already uh, mentioned that the in this article there are three responses so i will change this to three and here uh, three different uh, rows are appeared this one is name first response name is droplet size unit is nanometer second one is homogenization time No, that is uh, any in value. Sorry, I have not enter correct response. It uh, did not have any unit. And third one is beta carotene retention. And its unit is percentage. Now you have almost completed the designing of this experiment so click on this finish option and here you will find <coughs> the 20 runs and their composition of nano emulsions is given in each runs. You will prepare nano emulsions using uh, these treatments for example first for first runs you will prepare nano emulsions containing 4% surfactant and in 7 minutes homogenization time and 9.5% oil content after preparing you will record the responses of these nano emulsions for example their droplet size their anisidine value and beta carotene and you will um, mention those responses in these blank spaces remember in your mind that you cannot apply the and response surface methodology on the experiment which has already carried out so first you will design this experiment using uh, this software and after that you will enter the data and apply response surface methodology on those data when you design uh, this experiment in your software then uh, there this run order may be different because these are randomized designed for this purpose uh, you can use a standard run order for entering the data you will yeah. click on here right click and you will select this option sort ascending and these will be uh, 
uh, arranged in ascending order another option is and you can see here a blank column select and uh, click on this area R right click and if you select this option space point type you will see here that space time will be appeared you can find here that these are the factorial I have, uh, as i previously mentioned that it has eight factorial six axial and six central point and you will find these axial points contain um, minus and plus alpha values center point contain uh, the value at zero as i already uh, said that uh, this is at zero you can see here six five point five and eight and in the software you will observe 6.5.5 and 8 so after uh, completion of uh, this design we will save this design go to file menu and here you will select save as i will save on desktop and i will name it as rsm Click on save. You can uh, see here that RSM is saved here. In next tutorial, I will analyze this data. And so uh, practice uh, this tutorial, and in next tutorial, you will learn the analysis as well as the optimization of data. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.